All right, we are back looking at cards you should be buying right now. In addition to that, we do have the announcement of the giveaway winners. Which we're going to go over for the Savage as well as the Celine. And we have another giveaway on this video. So, on this video, we are going to be giving away first. We're going to be giving away a play set of Forbidden Droplet. These are the, um, the Prismatic um, Collector Rares. We're going to be giving away an entire play set. They do have a little line going down the side, which is unfortunate, but they are still, when they're in the sleeve, you can barely see it. They're absolutely beautiful. They're about $7 each. We're going to give away a play set to one of you as well. The other card we're going to be giving away, we're going way back to the very beginning of quarter centuries. We're going to be giving away the Stardust uh, quarter century, which is absolutely beautiful. If you've wanted this card, we're unable to get it. This is your chance. So another person's going to win this card. As well, so for the giveaway, uh, winners from last video. And I do have to say, man, I am sorry for the delay. I'm sorry for the no content. I got the flu and I went down. I went down hard. Um, and so I'm back now. So we are going to announce the giveaway winners. My voice isn't quite what it's supposed to be, but uh, we're going to announce the giveaway winners for these two. And I have them right here. So the giveaway winners for uh, Savage is uh, right there. I don't know how to say that, but I've seen your name quite a bit. Um, so congratulations. Glad that you finally got a win here. And then the Celine winner is R Red 1023. So you all are the two winners. What is that? Exacor? Exacor? We're going to go with Exacor for the Savage. So those are the two winners. Congratulations. I'll get these out to you. All you got to do is send me your address to co 2 cards the number 10, all together. co 2 cards 10 at gmail.com and uh, when you do just send me proof that it's you like a screenshot of your youtube channel that sort of thing and i'll get these two cards out to you all right so today uh flu's behind us i hope you all had a great christmas i really do i've missed doing these videos with you so being back is super exciting um i love doing the giveaways um so I think this is a fantastic giveaway. This playset is very, very nice. And the Stardust is such a cool card. So, um, all you got to do to be eligible for this giveaway uh, to win these is subscribe to the channel or be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment um, just letting me know which of the two you would like. Um, and then if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. It does help us out tremendously going into the new year. We're going to be focusing on consistency here at Co2 Cards. Be trying to have, um, at like somewhere around three videos up a week. We've not been anywhere near that recently and, you know, regretfully. So we're going to try and get that back up there to having consistent content up there. So here's what I want to talk about today. I want to, you know, kind of put the rarity collection to bed and because there's a lot of stuff happening in Yu-Gi-Oh! So the next several videos, we're going to be looking at new sets coming out, new engines that are being revived in Yu-Gi-Oh!, new cards that you should be targeting, cards that are going up, cards that are going down. But before we do that, I do want to just kind of look at the Rarity Collection one last time because there's crazy 
stuff happening in the rarity collection. Some things people are talking about, some things people are not talking about, and I don't know why, so I wanna talk about it a little bit. So I'm gonna bring you over to TCG Player. We're gonna look at the rarity collection, mostly the quarter centuries, because that's where the craziness is taking place. So hang in there with me. I'm gonna bring you over there, and we'll get that up. All right, so if we're over here at the Rarity Collection, um, there's some cards that have been, you know, pretty high for quite a while. Nothing has taken place here that should surprise you. Infinite and Permanence has been around $70 for quite a while. Ash has been somewhere between uh, 150 and 170 for quite a while. But you come down here and you're going to see Effect Veiler has jumped up tremendously. This card is now, there's only 18 listings, $75. Um, so I think, you know, you kind of missed the window on Effect Veiler. And what I want to talk about is cards that you don't want to miss the window on. Look, I know a lot of people say the Rarity Collection, these quarter centuries, they're easy to pull. They're not going to go up. That is not right. It's not. It's wrong. They're going to go up. And l let me explain to you something about the Rarity Collection. Look, it is easy to pull a quarter century in the Rarity Collection. But pulling a specific quarter century in the Rarity Collection, that ain't easy because there's 79 different ones. So let's just say you get a pack and you're lucky enough to get a quarter century. But let's just say that you've got two effect failures and you need the third for a playset. What are your chances of pulling that third? Well, it's one in 79. It's, it's even, it's worse than that. Um, because you're not going to pull all 79. You're going to get doubles in there. It's really, really hard to pull these specific quarter centuries. So people are going to want these. It's going to drive the price up. In addition to that, the boxes are expensive. You're looking at $90. Um, somewhere around $90 a box. And I know a lot of people say, look, you can't miss with this product. You can I have missed tremendously on this product many, many, many times. Um, so you're going to buy a box for $90. You're going to go out there. You're going to get three quarter centuries. Let's just say of the quarter centuries you get, you're going to get a Ice Dragon's Prison. Well, that's not worth much. You're going to get the, um, the Nightmare Unicorn alternate art. Let's say you get the good one. You get the alternate art. Well, that's around $15. And then let's just say that you're lucky enough to get a Lightning Storm. Well, that's $20. You lost tremendously. Now, I know you got all the other stuff in there. And if you're looking to build your staples, this is a great product to buy. But if you're looking for a specific quarter century, Good luck. Most likely you're going to be buying the singles and they're going to go up. Triple Tactics still sitting around $50. I don't know why, um, but it's still around $50. Quantities are a little bit low on this, $27. Um, look, another one that has gone up that I've not seen many people talking about is Nibiru. This is now a $55 quarter century, but I think it's even worse than that. Because when you click on it and you go into this, the $55 quarter century is from an unverified seller with zero sales. Well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, zero feedback. I'm not, I'm not risking it on this guy. Uh, he's got 686 sales, zero feedback. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, so Gamers um, Gauntlet has them for 59 but they're really about 59 $60 somewhere around there for the Nibirus. So Nibiru has gone up and you can see quantities are down. 22 listings on Nibiru. That's pretty low. So keep that in mind. Baron is around $43, but it is going up. It's slowly going up, but it is going up. It was around $38 for a while, $39. So it is going up. Don't 
If you if you want the Baron Quarter Century and you don't have it, I would buy it now. I really would because I think that it's going to go up. Pot of Prosperity has already gone up. This was around $30 with the with it not getting hit on the ban list now it's up to about forty two dollars again these are going up some of them are going up slow some of them are going up fast but most of them are going up and it's not going to take much for them to skyrocket up you've seen this over and over i've already showed you effect veil or i've already showed you nibiru let's look at a couple other ones evenly match Still sitting there around $38. I don't understand it, but it's still around $38. Ghost Bell. I told you to buy Ghost Bell multiple times. I told you that it was crazy that this card was under $20. Well, it isn't anymore. It's over $40. It's coming in around $43. Let's click on it. See if that's a real $43 or if it's like Nibiru. Um... Yeah, it's about it's about forty four dollars from verified. Quickly, quickly goes up to forty seven dollars. Um, if you didn't see this coming, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand why. I don't understand what you're doing. This was bound to take place. Forbidden Droplet still sitting there at thirty dollars. I think that's nuts. I would be buying evenly matched. I would be buying Forbidden Droplet. I would not let these sit here any longer if these are cards that you're targeting. Um, Called by the Grave, about $30. I think that's fair. Uh, it's a one of whatever. Uh, we already saw Nadir Servant go up. Tour Guides, around $20. I think that's fair. We already saw Lancia jump up. Um... Lightning Storms around $20. You only need two of them. They look absolutely fantastic. I had the Collector Rare Lightning Storms. I sold them or am in the process of selling them um, because I wanted these. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. You only need two at $20. I think that's a great buy. Pre-preps, we know that, um, I can't remember what's running this, but there's, a, there is, a, is it the Goblins? It might be the Goblins. Um, we'll talk about those um, pretty soon coming up here. Uh, but that, that card's gone up. Pot of Desires getting back to three made Pot of Desires go up. Dimension Shifter is another one. Look, you've only got 13 listings on D Shifter. Um, this card is going up. Uh, around 25 it was around 18 for quite a while so this is another quarter century that is going up that you should be looking at you should have been looking at it earlier in my opinion um down here are two cards that i think you definitely should be buying right now they have not been bought out as of yet it's only a matter of time. That's Dark Roller No More and Lava Golem. It's nuts that these cards are under $20. They will get bought out. It's inevitable. This is going to happen. So if you've been targeting them, and I just bought my playset of Lava Golems. I have one. The other two are being shipped to me right now. They're in the mail. I am in the process of buying the Dark Roller no more. I already bought two. I need to buy one more. So these are cards that I'm buying. Uh, I think it's nuts um, that they're under $20. They will get bought out. If these cards are not bought out in the next week, I will be surprised. I would move on these pretty quickly. They are staples. And maybe they're not being run in the meta right now. Although I do think two of them, I do think both of these are seeing play in different decks. They're not being, they're not side deck staples right now. They're not main deck staples right now. But they are being used by some decks. Uh, I do think um, that these cards are, are going to go up. Change of Heart I think is pretty fair, around $20. I think that's what it is. Um... But if this, 
I think this came, I think this got brought to two in the OCG, which uh, I, this is one of my favorite cards of all time. I absolutely love this card. If we could get this to two in the TCG, I would love it. Um, and uh, one of the things um, M. Cole 40 has been talking about quite a bit is uh, Konami trying to get uh, going second being a more viable strategy. Change of heart coming to two would actually help in that strategy quite a bit. So uh, I love it. Um, so that's a card. Uh, I would buy this, you know, honestly at $22 uh, because right now it is a one of. I already have mine. Um, but it's a great card to target. Uh, if you go over here on the second page, you're going to see pretty much more of the same. Uh, with these cards, Dingursu with the Orcus, with the Harpoor, uh, that card jumped up already. A card that I haven't seen anybody talking about is Fallen of Alabaz. Very low listings, 14, already jumped up to $25. Um, I think that's a great buy. Rhoda, um, uh, of course, is a great buy at $17. Um, but the thing I want you to see on here is the movements that are taking place already and how low the quantities are on these. Look, the rarity collection's been out for over a month, on approaching two months. Um, the quantity should be higher on these. People are buying these. It's keeping the quantities down. Celine is another card that has gotten bought out that is going up. Pot of Extravagance. Not many people playing Pot of Extravagance. It's a hard card to play in all honesty, especially with Pot of Prosperity out there right now. But but only 25 listings. Um, these cards are going up. So uh, Mud Dragon is definitely a card you should be targeting. This card was around eight to nine dollars. It's now up to about fifteen. It can go higher. Look, thirteen listings. That's it. Here's two cards that I think you should be looking at. Summon Limit. Oh shoot, that has to be new. Summon Limit looks like it's getting bought out. Uh, 15 listings only, and it's already up. This is definitely new. This is new. This is happening right now. Um, 15 listings. Um, actually, actually, it's not. There's only two sold today. Uh, I guess I haven't looked at this card for a while, but this card's already up to about $20, $19, somewhere around there. Um, Summon Limit is another. Look, they hit. The floodgates. Summon limit is a floodgate. It's one of the only floodgates you can play at three. It's a no-brainer that summon limit's going to go up. I think you should be looking at this. D barrier is another one that I think people should be looking at. Still 30 listings, 31 listings on here. Still around $15. It's, it's, it's a matter of time for D barrier to go up. This card will go up. Um, so I would definitely be looking at getting your play set of D barrier. So four cards that I think, um, are on the verge of getting bought out or are getting bought out summon limit. I don't know when that happened, but summon limit D barrier, um, uh, Lava Golem and dark ruler. No more. I think you should be looking at those before it happens. Uh, we all, Deco, uh, Talker Heat Soul was like one of the first ones for this to happen for. Boral Load Savage Dragon, which is part of the giveaway, um, is, um, is a card that, you know, we're talking $13. You only need one of it. There's only 18, um, 18 listings of this card. This card's going to go up. It, it It's already going up. It, it This is one of those slow moving cards it is going up and up and up grab yours now um so that you have it because it's only a matter of time till this card goes up um so let's see here what do we, what what else we got the it's not a whole lot more that I wanted to talk about. Uh, oh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Nobody's talking about this card. This card is bought out. It's it, there's twenty listed or twelve listings. 
it's already up to $18. This was another card you could have picked up at $10. This is one that I missed out on. Uh, I don't have Ancient Fairy. I thought I had more time to get it. It's already up to $18. Only 12 listings. Nobody's talking about this card, but it is going up. Um, and the quantities are super low on this card. Um, Spellbook of Judgment, that card went up. It came back down. Um, so uh, another one that, that I think you should be looking at is Sphere Mode. This is criminally low. And the quantities are still pretty high, but I do think Sphere Mode's going to get bought out pretty soon here. I would be looking at buying Sphere Modes if you want them now rather than later. It's only a matter of time. You know it. And then right below Sphere Mode and right beside Sphere Mode. Dragus Depelia. <coughs> Sorry about that. I am not what I'm supposed to be yet. Drag Dragostopelia, um, under $10 is a great buy. You only need one of it, as well as Herald of the Arclight, just over $10. These are cards that you should be looking at. They haven't gotten bought out yet. They will get bought out. They're going to go up. This is what I'm looking at on the Rarity Collection, are these quarter centuries, the movements that are happening Tons of movements, so many movements that not many people are talking about, you know, cards like Nibiru or Ancient Fear Fairy Dragon. Um, these cards are getting bought out. Um, and so be aware that movements are happening. Be aware that if you want these cards, now's the time to get them because they're only going to get more harder to get because this is going to start being taken off the shelves you're not going to be able to find it anymore you're not and the boxes are super expensive those boxes are probably going to go up to not down and these car these singles are going to go up grab your singles now the this is a great opportunity to get them uh don't forget about the giveaway the play set of forbidden droplet in the prismatic collector rare as well as the stardust um subscribe to the channel hit that like button we're gonna try and get back here to consistent videos my name is todd from go to cards and I am out of here.